Pastor Soji, Brother Soji then used to tell me about his man of God, also his brother. That used to come to Lagos, sometimes they trekked from Chilo, from Kenaland to Ojo area and about. Some of you don't understand what I'm talking about. First of all, they used to trek because of traffic. So zealous. He used to tell me about it all the time. So one day he told me that the Reverend was coming. <laughs> First of all. And somehow, somehow we met here in Madisoya. That's how he was making an accommodation for church. And we met. The next time we met again, he said he wanted to pray. So we joined to pray. Uh, but what I find in our uh, reverend is I've been seeing people. I like the word. In short, I used to say, show it to me in the world. It is not there. I will accept it. And then, if it is controversial, you will show me in several other places. Because in the matter of two or three, <laughs> every truth is established. I have not seen any man that plays the scripture. Like draft. You know how you. We call it Biblical Calculus. You just mix scriptures to make patterns and signs. Do as you like. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I came to his all night, I came with seven people. The next time I came, I came with full bus. <laughs> with about 20 people inside, I drove. <laughs> I don't know what I told them, I mean, they followed me. But they followed me anyway. Praise the Lord. So that is the man that we have in our midst. One way you can know what you are told to do is from God, is that it will be easy for you to do. It will be very, very easy. Praise the Lord. So I, I will not want to break the worship. I want the worship to usher in me. So anytime he likes, he will just move into the administration. And that's why I'm taking this time to um, introduce him to you. Hallelujah. Amen. I would like to stand to our feet and worship as we welcome the worship. Hallelujah. Thank you very much, sir. I celebrate with our fathers in the Lord, our daddies, our mothers, and the Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. People of God, God has been so faithful in this ministry. The God of this ministry, I can tell you, I remember when this ministry started last year. And I was just happy. As my sister and about our dear husband, we the testimony. We were all in the plan of the wedding. But we thank God for how God showed up. I don't, know, I don't want to go too far because our time, our time is fast. But God showed up in the miraculous form. People of God, let's appreciate the Lord. This God is a faithful God. He's a faithful God. What we worship you, Jesus. Oh, we give you all the glory. We bless you, the Lord. We give you all the glory. We bless you, We bless you, the Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you all the glory. Oh, we thank you.
You know, the dimension of God is so big that no individual, no generation can capture. Praise God. So big, so from generation to generation, you open up certain aspect of you. Are you with me? And Moses there, he said, God, he said, dwell in darkness. In Exodus 20, 21, that is the dimension of song. Now, in now one three, he said, God say it dwell in one way. He said, does this kind they are saying the doors of the sweet. And when Apostle Paul was going to enter the book called the Damas God, he saw lights that he couldn't see. And in his letter to Timothy, he said, God, where well, you know, all the lights. So every generation captured God in their own experience. And the major aspect, the most difficult assignment today in our world, and with the Holy Spirit, is for us to know what is in the heart of the Father to sign our heart. I rejoice with you that you are able to journey to the heart of the Father to pick your own portion for your generation. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Myself to you as a vessel of honor via this via this vessel to speak to your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me give somebody my left and the right to take your seat. Praise God. Take your seat. Thank you for the honor and the privileges. Hallelujah. Briefly, I'll be sharing with us the time to remember. And I bless God for diverse testimony that will be coming. That, that we, we had there, and I believe that I see more and more. And for all our brothers and our sisters that are list, and I have this list of testimony, this Thanksgiving is ushering you to your own testimony. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. You know, miracle is a, is a process. The final process of miracle is testimony. Praise God. And in that testimony, what I mean by testimony is Thanksgiving. So, what our pastor is doing today is actually seeing on what God has conceived in his, in his heart concerning your life. You have, you have heard the testimony of order, you will be the next to testify. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. It was the most difficult job assignment a long time now is for a man to know why he said, Praise God. Because nobody just appear here. We are all existed in the hand of the Father before the eternity began. Praise God. But now for you to pick your own passion, the fragment that you want to take, that is the most difficult thing. So when he told me his vision, I'm so happy. Praise God. That things you are able to discover your own. Philip Lover, run with it. Praise God. That is what I'm about to say. You stand upon my I will stand upon my watch. Praise God. You have received it. Run with it. In Jesus' name. For my one of us, I don't want to I, I encourage you that testimony of our thanksgiving will not be worse than a white thing. Let it be a culture and a lifestyle. Praise God. When it becomes a culture and a lifestyle, then Testimony and testimony where I'm going to our way of life. Praise God. God, when He does something, God is careful of your reaction and action. Praise God. So that is why when the pastor told me that they are celebrating one year pastor, I said, What the governor says. Praise God. God is conscious. So the case you are waiting for your own to finally settle before you start celebrating God, I believe you will pick something today. Praise God. Hallelujah. I've heard some teaching in the past that God is not, once he does something, don't remember, no, that's not scripture. Praise God. When God does something, he's waiting to see your action or reaction. That's why I said, he said, bless, as I said, bless the Lord, oh my soul, and forget not all these benefits. I'm one of you. He said, don't forget. It takes a week. He said, it's only the wicked that forget what God has done for them. Praise God. I think you need to change the back of this. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Now you can see me from here. Yes, you can hear me from here. Praise God. So God never wants us to forget anything, any good thing he's doing in our life or he has done for us. He started this in, a, in, 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 in Egypt, when he was bringing his people out of Egypt. On the final day of that departure, we call it Passover, praise God. He told them the mother, the, the pattern and the modality that they're going to leave Egypt. And he said, please document what we have going, praise God. And pass it to generation to come. Every year, at the day, a period we call it Passover feast. Now, when they ask you this thing, what is happening at Passover feast? Let your children, children aware that there was a day that God destroyed yoke, 430 year yoke. Praise God. Say every year, continue to celebrate that. I said, let, he said, let it be an ordinance for the people. Praise God. And they continue as they journey 
and told him Moses finished his assignment, Joshua took over. And when Joshua took over, he was a proud river Jordan. He said, Joshua, select 12 elders, praise God, from Israel. Let them go to the bank of the river and pick stone, praise God. And when you enter your prom the promised land, put this stone on the ground uh, as a monument for your children, children to see. When they ask you, what kind of statue is this? Tell them there was a time that you the house. Are you with me? Yeah. Say, you need yeah. so that nobody, they're not blessed. So nobody will forget what he has done. That is to tell us that God never wants us to forget. Praise God. Amen. Say, thou shalt remember the Lord that God that given the power to get wealth. So what we are doing today, we are calling to remember what God has started in this ministry. Praise God. That for the ministry to commence at all a year back, it is by His power. Praise God. For the ministry to move through this first year, it is by His power. And we are back with heart of gratitude to say thank you to Him. And beloved, I want to encourage you, everything God is doing in your life, there is documents for it. Praise God. I'm preparing for a meeting this weekend. He gave me the title. Remember me, Lord. As I was meditating on it, and he brought me, he says, I will not only want to, it's not only God that remembers us, we should remember Him too. Praise God. And that is all we are doing today. Remember that he is the one that will be our head minister. In Jeremiah 2, verse 32, he said, These people forgot me too much. When you don't remember God, he's grief his heart. So I want to encourage you, beloved brother, please, anytime God does something, he's waiting for your action. Let thank you never depart from your heart. Praise God. There are some people that say they are too shy to testify. Why are you not shy to receive from the Lord? Praise God. Please, your testimony doesn't stand at any church alone. Tell somebody about what he's doing. Praise God. And that is all we are here to do today. Even when he kept there for 40 years in the wilderness, he said no one was people among them. And God said they should have a feast. They call it the Feast of Tabernacle. To, re to remember that in 40 years, he was able to wash over them. Praise God. So whatever he does in our lives, Let's record for it. So I encourage us, everyone, our, my beloved brother, let's continue to lay into heart from time to time. We should not allow the cares of life. Yes, it's good to have good ambition. Yes, it's good to have big vision. Yes, but life is in faces. As God is doing it for you, please lay to heart and thank Him. Praise God. Don't wait on the final result. We are all familiar with the, the, the ten levels. It is not that they were not here, they were here, but they were not made whole. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you see this, the, 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 the leprosy, when lepers are the, that's gone, you will see the scar in their body. I believe all of them, they have that they, they have the healing, the, the wound have the healing. But they said, Is that all Jesus can do? Praise God. And they went away. But the one that returned to say, Thank you, Jesus. The one of God said, He was made whole. And I believe God that whatever remains in your life, the process you have started, the year back, Fire this Thanksgiving, the Lord will perfect it. Amen. I say the Lord will perfect it. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Just we join our pastor and the wonderful brethren of this ministry to tell the Lord this evening. Please, I beseech you, let it be our lifestyle. Praise God. When, when Thanksgiving is your lifestyle, I remember sometimes ago I was traveling from a, a prayer passage where I go to Boracot. So my brother was with me, the pastor in the Bible. And uh, there are a lot of police checkpoints on the way. And yes. you know, time we saw that we come across a point, they will complain, oh, oh, oh. He got to a level where we got to a point, I said, bro, you will drop. He said, why? He said, we are going to put that together. I said, no. Because I discovered that his complaint is like carrying virus in the car. Praise God. Between worrying and between beginning and worrying, we saw about like 50 checkpoints. He said, what are these people doing here? And I asked him, if you meet 20 police checkpoints and one of Amrabra, which one do you prefer? Praise God. I said, every step you must learn to say thank you, Father. Praise God. And I believe that is what great multitude is doing this hour. To say, Father, for this one year, indeed, you are our heavenly son. Praise God. And as all of us pray, gather to celebrate with them. I'm sure that I believe 
that celebration will not cease in our life. In the precious name of Jesus. There are so many things we start to gain when you begin to tie the law. When you begin to lay it to have from time to time what he has done. Among other things is that no good thing is allowed to die in your hand. Praise God. I say no good thing will die in your hand. Amen. No good thing will die in your hand. Amen. Whatever you are thanking God for, God will be conscious. You will consciously you will be conscious of it and it will demand it to the end. In fact, the one of God says something to the five verse 18. He said, everything please thanks to the Lord. For this is the will of God. For this is the will of God. We don't stop there. And in fact, John chapter 2, verse 17, the one of God said, Know that doing the will of God shall be forever. Praise God. Please connect the two together. Say, it is good thing to thank the Lord. For this is the will of God. And that verse John said, Know that doing the will of God shall be forever. So whatever you are thanking God for cannot die. This ministry will not die. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. I said it will not die. Amen. Do it higher and higher. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Be conscious of that. Yes, your target may be high. You might be, you are, you might, you might be far from your target. That's the beauty of your, of your faith. That every face, every face that you are going, you give thanks to the Lord. I learned that from Abraham's servant. Abraham asked him to go and get wife for his son Isaac. As he was going, he prayed. He said, Lord, grant me good speed. Praise the Lord. And immediately went to Rebecca before anything at all. He worshiped the Lord. Praise the Lord. Rebecca, Rebecca had not agreed to follow him. He was for me to have met somebody from my master's family. That's enough for Thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. For my beloved brother, for my beloved sister, for somebody to say hi. You don't need to look how they look or not. Maybe you like the person or not. That one they that one they know is that you are a marriageable person. Praise God. Are you with me? That one they know is that not to tell them and say, Father, I thank you. Praise God. If you are not marriageable, nobody will come to you. So from there, as you are thanking the Lord, celebrating him, he will perfect what he has done. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Another thing that Thanksgiving does in our life is that he empowers us to reign and to have dominion. Praise God. Empowerment for dominion. In Revelation chapter 5, verse 10, the word of God says, He has redeemed us as king and priest. Praise God. Please, let's get ready. Let's go to this two. As kings and priests. These are our two statutes. But you don't go to God as king, he's the king of kings. Praise God. You go to him as priests. What you priest does to God, you do to God, you offer sacrifices unto him. Praise God. When you have done it to God as a priest, then you cannot come to your world as a king. Somebody in the house? Yeah. Are you with me? Yes, sir. Until you have done your own part, because it is both vertical and horizontal. Until you do this, you go to him, you worship him as your king and, and, and give him times. Now you go to your world as a king now. The priest's duty is to offer sacrifices, spiritual sacrifices. And the book of Peter, the word of God says, he has redeemed us to do what? To offer spiritual sacrifices. What are these spiritual sacrifices? He said that things to give thanks to the Lord. Our thanksgiving is our spiritual sacrifice. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please pardon me. I'm talking very fast and very fast about the next time. Praise God. You are a priest. You are also a king. Please go to God as a priest. So that you serve him with thanksgiving. So after you have done that, and I believe as every one of us step into a new week tomorrow, we are stepping in as kings. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Why? Because today we have fulfilled our priesthood office. That one has been done. It has been done. And as I work with people, one of us say in the book of Peter, say we are royal priesthood. A peculiar people, praise God. And in Hebrew chapter 13, verse 15, he said, Let us go now to offer our sacrifices of thanksgiving. That is our spiritual sacrifice. Our spiritual sacrifice of thanksgiving. Beloved, you don't need to wait until you have a diet before you thank the Lord. Thank God for the diet you have. Praise God. Is somebody with me? Is somebody with me? Every segment, every phase of your life, be thanking the Lord. When you are doing that, you can never be stranded in life. Let it be a pattern for your family. Let it be a pattern for your life. Let it be a pattern for your ministry. That I will only fulfill my priesthood office so that I can function very well in my kingship through. Praise God. And I pray the Lord will empower us. 
again and again. In the precious name of Jesus. Thanksgiving preserves our blessings. Malachi chapter 2, verse 1. He said they will not lay it to heart. Say they will not lay it to heart. Say, oh ye priests, say lay it to heart and give glory to my name. He even told them that if we don't do it, lay it to heart, say it will cause their blessing. May the Lord not cause your blessing. Yeah. May the Lord not cause your blessing. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. There's nothing pissed God off like memory. You close yourself in, you start crying, you start memory, what have I done? God see me. Say, see you, praise God. Some people say, as a prayer point, say, God, where are you? Praise God. It's not missing. It's right there. Your thanksgiving will make you to step in into your situation. And as we do that today, and I pray, and I know in my heart that the next people that will testify your next meeting here, you will be among the testify. In the precious name of Jesus. In the precious name of Jesus. And lastly, when you have the attitude and habit of thanking the Lord, you can never remain small in life. You can never remain small in life. No matter the level you are now, the next cadre, the next step to your next level is the weapon of thanksgiving. Yeah. Weapon of appreciation. Day by day, evening by evening. Always say reason to thank the Lord. Praise God. Are you with me? I don't pray for that, but you woke up, you saw a flat tire. I said, Father, thank you. It is all my life that flat. Praise God. It is tired. Praise God. What happened to me recently? What a massive book. I just checked my car like this down. And I look, I look up behind me for the license. I see this God is lost. So praise God. See, yeah, yeah, yeah. person that will be tired. See, tired. Come on. Come and do this for me. With the heart of gratitude and trust, it is not, oh God, no, what is this? No, no, no. You don't see such, such grammar that I receive from the Lord. As you cultivate this attitude of gratitude, I know you will be the best to testify. Amen. And your testimony Money will not just be once, it will be a lifestyle. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. Amen. I remember some years back where, before I posted to Lagos here, whenever they are picking the name of the testifier in the church on Sunday, my name was permanently there. Praise God. Amen. Permanently there. Any pastor that is giving testimony must put my name there because every week, what the Bible says, it daily loaded up with benefits. Day by day, he doing something in my life. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I remember one of those days how my testimony came back to another wonderful testimony. When God gave a blessing with our first baby, I testified this baby is one year old, no grass and money in her mouth, this and that. When she was two, I said this baby is two years old, no grass and money, nothing, 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 praise God. The only thing that touched her body was even a session. There was a time that somebody said, Have you prepared for when the two will grow in the, the drug? I said, No, prepare. I just gave the Bible to somebody. I said, Give me where it's written in the Bible that when my daughter wants to grow through, I should be running her task. Unfortunately, that person couldn't provide any place. I said, You miss it. Praise God. On the third year, I came out again. I said, The Lord is a faithful God. This girl is bouncing the head. No prostomon, nothing, nothing. Give it to the Lord. And the woman was in church. Her own son, three years, he can't talk. Moving to four years, ah, he can't do anything. She was angry in the spirit. She said, It is the same Jesus that died for Brother Tony and died for me. How come his own daughter, no brother, my own son cannot talk? He said, Boy, you talk to them. <laughs> they went to praise God to know that life began last. Yes. This Thanksgiving will prepare testimony in your life. Amen. In the precious name of Jesus. They go home that day. Say, look. She prayed a little bit. Say, boy, say that when I was talking. Say you talk to me. The same God that made the other man, his own daughter, no drug, he will talk. After about 20 minutes, say, say that. The boy said that. Say, boy, that the boy that. For the glory of God in this day, the boy is looking plainly. When the, the final year is secondary school, to him and not be the girl. So see that as we are here to rejoice with this ministry today, the same way the nation will gather around you to rejoice with yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. Yeah. In Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19, I ran it all with that. It says, Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving. And the word of them that may marry, it says they shall not be small. From today, it shall not be small. Yeah. It shall not be few. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus. Anything you are celebrating, God will continue to increase. Don't let the enemy corner 
remember you to be using negative word. You want to say something, say it's half empty. Why are you say half empty when you can say it's half full? You can see your life from the positive side. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you with me? They say, where is it that the Lord has gone? Say, can't you see it? It's at work. And it's at work. Yeah. And I know it's at work in your life. Yeah. I know it's at work in your life. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. Please catch this fire from this woman today. Yeah. That my life, anything more morning I'm complaining with you. In number of that, let me read from verse 1 down. He said, the mixed multitude that joined the, 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 the Israelites when they were coming out of Egypt. You know, the sense of wonder was so wonderful that even no Jew without Jew. He said, we'll follow you. But because it was not in their blood, it's just that somebody that is not born again, praise God, he can form it for a while. After, after some time, you know that the nature of God is not in that person. Yeah. Praise God. He can behave, he can talk, he can use Bible, but the nature of God, praise God. Hallelujah. That is why for single, let me debate a little bit. For the single, no matter that guy, that guy is nice. If he's not born again, he's not born again. Except you're ready to take Satan as your father in God. Praise God. And that will not be a portion. Yeah. It is a precious thing. Yeah. Even when you say the guy is nice, to be nice is different from the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. He can be nice and not have the fruit of the spirit. Yeah. His father can command him one day to slap him and we slap him. Yeah. Praise God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. I pray you will never be a victim of souls. Yeah. In the precious name of Jesus. I say you will never be a victim of souls. Yeah. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. It's around it all with this. Make this a mode of life. Make this, make it a pattern of life. Life of appreciation, praise God. Life of thanksgiving. Don't wait for the little. It is so hard, praise God. I remember some times ago, I closed with this testimony. Praise God. Hallelujah. <laughs> I will change the accommodation for one bedroom flat to two bedroom flat. Is it not the thanksgiving? Yes, sir. It doesn't know, is it not worth it? Yes, sir. And I got a prayer about and say, Look, I don't pray for me. We are dedicated our house today. Praise God. The church, everybody move. I'm going to tell you, let's go. this house. Everybody move. As we're entering my car, now you see one bus there. So it's the house. We are here. It's not my bus house. Praise God. More than 90% of people that are rushing the gate, I said, hey, Is there another man? My house is carrying out to go. Say, so What do you worry these people, sir? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The same thing as his head. May the scripture enter here for you. Amen. May enter your heart. Amen. May you be zealous for God. Amen. I think we heard the testimony of the pastor, the pastor, the pastor that is zealous for God. Praise God. And I carry everybody. Two pastors followed me. And the first thing that they know, we share that house on the road. I don't know how the men of God will sit on the road. It's okay. It's like God is away there. I think that will be some praise God. As we're talking there, say, Father, let's not let all my to God said. From this house, you are going to your house. Hallelujah. If you can thank the Lord, praise God, there's nothing you cannot do. Even I forgot, I paid for two years, when you were running on that rent, about three months or four months for the rent to be over. That was just increased the rent that they said I should pay two years. What's it? Is? I said, ah, this house that I pray like this. I, I was in charge of the whole streets. At level in the evening till 3 a.m. every day. The whole street did it as somebody said, praise God. And the, uh, my, the landlord, his wife was trusting God for the fruit of the wood. And among my demand that, Father, before I leave this house, this woman will carry her. Hallelujah. And that time, she already took it. Praise God. So when the letter, when the letter came, I said, ah, see the people are interested for they don't push like this. I never knew that they are pushing it to my own inheritance. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I believe the, the power of prophecy is a great thing. Praise God. Amen. So when I told my father that I said, What I have no and the man said I should pay two years and he increased the rent, he said, Have you thank God for it? He said, Bring the letter, that is your promotion letter. Praise God. Hallelujah. And he went to somewhere the property. He said, I'm standing on this ground now. In the next three three months, I want house to grow here. Beloved, I miss him because I knew how much I had in my hands. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. I will drop my car, but I will pray for you. Praise God. And I know testimony repeats itself. Yeah. 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 And then he said, he said, uh, he said, in the next three months, house, grow here. As I said, so remove your shoe. I remove your shoe. Out of course, I said, hey, baby, baby. To call the long story short, two days to clock three months, I move it to the house. Hallelujah. And I don't know your mom is, you might be saying, the woman with the issue of blood. 
Your own will be sure of money. Another one will be sure of marriage. Another one will be sure of health. Whatever be your issue. Today, as you have touched the word of God and touched this of my garment, I give this in the name of Precious 
name of Jesus. I think I've been in ministry, in ministry for a while. I know what it is when there is no supply. And I know what it is when there is supply. Father, we thank you for supply. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. For all the testimony, can you lift up one more time and say, Father, thank you for, for your heart in the life of your people. Thank you for your heart in the life of your people. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. We give you praise. Bless and bless and be your holy name. Our God, we thank you. We praise your name. Bless and be your name. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Are you tired of saying amen? Amen. Amen. You know, you can't serve God anyhow. You can serve him with joy. Praise God. Thank you. For all the testimony, we say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And finally, for the gift of men, no matter how anointed you may be, you can't carry it in you. Praise God. No matter how the fire is burning, you need men. Lord, we thank you for the gift of men. Lift up your voice as a father. Thank you for the gift of men. We bless your name. Men and women of passion, of passion. I pray for one person and I draw the mic. There's always a time of decision. Praise God. So that after starting the journey here, when this space is over, we should be with him in glory. But if you have not made that decision, praise God. We should call for you. What an opportunity. Praise God. To say Jesus come into my life. Somebody like me, I was born and brought up in church, but in a religious way. Praise God. I understood the day Jesus walked into my life and he turned things around. Praise God. Hallelujah. I don't know, maybe there's somebody today is the day that he will step into your situation. You may have known it before you are not even sure. Can we bow our head in one of us? You want to say, Jesus, I made you today as my Lord and my pastor said. I'm not just sticking your hand alone. I call it in your face. Anybody like that, don't wave your hand where you are still where you are so that I pray for you. Where your hand goes, the Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Don't no worry. I give my own years back. Take life without the medicine. Don't look at another person so that I pray for you. Say, Lord Jesus, say, have mercy on me. Forgive me my sin. Today I receive you as my Lord and Pastor Savior. And I will follow you for the rest of my life. In Jesus' precious name. Father, as many that made this show today, I ask that their name be taken away from the book of death and let it be written in the book of life. And I follow you the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name. Pastor, please permit me just send our hand toward Pastor Fima and his wife and bless them before we go. And bless them, please come forward. Come forward, let's pray for them. Let me ask Pastor. Let me ask Pastor. Pastor, please step forward. I need to be let me pray for them, let me pray for them, let me pray for them. There is no overdose of prayer. The mission. Stretch for your hands, say, Lord. Let the pastor, let the elders, let the ministers come forward and pray for the Father. We thank you, Lord, your Mr. Come for us, we thank you. We praise your name for what you have done for your son and your daughter and what you are doing in their life, in their ministry. We thank you for opening their eyes to see, to know your mission, your vision for their life, for this season, for this time, for their generations. Lord, we thank you, God, pray for them, pray for them. They have been a blessing to your life. Thank you, Father. Be thou exalted. Be thou glorified. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name. Defend them and defend their family. Yes. Defend their ministry. You see, upon this glory, they shall be defended. Lift up your voice and pray. Father, defend your son and your daughter and their children. Defend the ministry you are giving to them. Lose hate and leave my food that I am a legal justice. Mark the lake and the mark that I am a legal justice. And all of us shake it for the mark that I am. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. May the Lord defend you. May the Lord keep you. May you continue to keep you as the apple of his heart. In the mighty name of Jesus. I join my voice with the faith of God's servants, the same of God in the house today. And I can pray no weapon fashion against you shall prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus. The fire in your hands are going to be burning. More and more. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will fulfill your ministry. You will finish well. You will finish strong. In the mighty name of Jesus. In this of time, good old age is your portion. You will live to see your children, children. In the mighty name of Jesus. You are blessed in your body. You are blessed in your going out. You are blessed in your coming in. In the mighty name of Jesus. We decree new faith.
ways of lifting, new ways of supply, new ways of function, new ways of anointing, new ways of grace. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whoever that crossed your path is crushed. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. whoever you bless, you may bless. Amen. Whoever you curse, you may curse. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. beginning from today, what takes you three months before will not take you to the house. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. speaking performance. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right.